So pop idols can be night eaters too, huh? Truth really is stranger than fiction. I'd say they're equally strange and equally ordinary. Hmm? Rin, you're up and about. Yep. A little R&R &R is all I needed to get my strength back. I feel totally fine now. Everyone here at Mogra has been really kind to me. So thanks once again. From the bottom of my heart. No, no. We don't need to be thanked. It's the least we can do after you've given us so many good times with your lovely music. Oh, well, thanks for that, too. I'm kind of a terrible singer, honestly, but if you enjoy it, that's good enough for me. Man, it's like this Rin and the pop idol Rin are two totally different people. Indeed, this Rin is far more courteous. That's because as a pop idol, Rin's what you might call a sundere. Hard on the outside, but soft where it counts. Hard on the outside is right. Seems like all her songs are about the frozen moon staining her heart with madness and other screwy stuff like that. <laughs> That's entirely a stage persona. It's all a carefully rehearsed act. It would have to be. The Rin I know is as gentle and kind as can be. Oh, come on, sis. You're embarrassing me. Uh, all this talk of me being gentle and kind and cute and wise. Uh, I think you added a couple. That's why it shocked me so much when you left me that note. Uh, that was an act too. I just didn't want you getting mixed up in my problems. But forget about me for a second. Why on earth, of all people, would you make a boy like this your familiar? Huh? You can only enter into the blood contract once in your entire lifetime. You two are bound by fate now. Forever! I mean, you're this elegant young lady, sis. Don't you think you should have chosen someone a little more... presentable? Just saying, it pays to be discriminating. Rin, this young man has come to my aid countless times already. So please try not to say such hurtful things about him. <sighs> Sis, I can't fault you for being kind-hearted. If you want to take pity on some wretched low life, that just shows how compassionate you are. Hey, uh, not to break up this touching display of emotion, but... You've got somebody glaring holes through you right now. If she doesn't say something, she might explode. Well, who might you be? Some wretched lowlife's little sister. Little... sister? I've been listening to your slanderous ramblings. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is allowed to speak ill of Brody but me. Well, look at you, cutest thing ever. Ugh. You're nothing at all like your brother. Could it be that he's only your half-brother or some such? No. We're definitely blood siblings. Oh, well, thank goodness you've got all the good genes. Your adorability is some kind of miracle. I'm gonna pat your head now. Pat, pat. <sighs> Somebody help! I'm... I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> what a charming little lady! Now listen up, Minion. Sis may have had some nice things to say about you, but don't let it go to your head. Make sure you know your place and act with all appropriate discretion. If you start to get overly familiar with her, you'll be sorry! Are we clear? So much for gentle and kind. Rin, I wonder if you might tell me now why you disappeared, why you ran away. Greetings and salutations to you all. What's this I hear about the Freedom Fighters gaining a new member? Uh, Shion Kasugai! At ease, Rin. Or shall I call you Ms. Tokikaze? I have no desire to fight you. Uh, then why did you come here? Rin, calm down. 
Let's hear what she has to say. Thank you, Shizuku. I know you first came to my company because you were looking for something. And I also know there must be a reason you harbor such misgivings about the company now, yes? There is a reason. It's because of the Synthesters who've been terrorizing Akiba. Every time they show up, I search the area, and I always find Daishihan's tracks somewhere nearby. Tracks so deep and obvious you shouldn't even try to deny them. Daishihan's involved, and that's crystal clear. And that's why you entered our poster girl contest, I suppose. So, President Shion Kasugai, are you going to stand there and tell me you have no idea what's going on inside your own company? Wherever there are synthesters, Daishihan is always close behind them. Hmm, I'm afraid you're only half right, Rin. And the other half is absolutely wrong. Excuse me? The reason I've been playing hooky so much lately is because my company suffered a bit of a coup d'etat, you might say. A coup d'etat? That don't sound good. A particular faction in the office has been fighting to dethrone me. If they take my place, they'll impose their own management paradigm, very different from mine. Officially, they're pursuing research and development for a new medical breakthrough. Well, breakthrough might be putting it too mildly. Supposedly, this new technology can stimulate the human body at the cellular level, accelerating everything from healing time to muscle growth. You don't mean... My, you catch on quick. Now, if I were to venture a guess, I'd say their efforts have been focused on Synthester's medical treatments. <laughs> Synthesters may be weak to sunlight and prone to violence. But in other ways, they're far superior to the rest of us. Except they operate outside all sense of reason or purpose. To use beings like that for any sort of personal gain is... <sighs> Let's get back to the point. You're admitting Daishihan Pharmaceuticals is connected to the organization. I'm saying it may very well be. Unfortunately, we have no proof. What I can say is that my company has vermin in the walls, and they're constantly scurrying behind my back. Meaning, if Daishihan is in cahoots with the organization, you're not involved, right? That's what I have been trying to tell you, yes. It's a bit of a shame, really. When the Synthesters first came about, I thought I was the first in the company to know anything about them. I never suspected that anyone around me could have been involved, let alone behind it all, if that's what they are. I was so busy looking, I missed the answers right under my nose. Always darkest right by the lamppost, huh? Well, coup d'etat or no, I'm still officially the company president. I'll do what I can to clean house and expose whatever threads bind us to this organization. But Rin... I truly would appreciate your help. I want you to continue investigating Daishihan from the inside, just as you have been. I'd have done that with or without you. And don't think I've taken my eye off you yet, Shion Kasugai. For all we know, you're just here to trick us into letting our guard down. Believe what you will. It is my company, after all. Ultimately, the responsibility does rest with me. Thank you. I'll do all I can to reward your faith with the best information I can find. At any rate, I believe I've told you all I know. If I discover anything useful, I'll be sure to contact you again post-haste. Though I may not be CEO for much longer. <sighs> Shion Kasugai, how far can we trust you? Okay, 
So Miss Kasugai's looking into the Daishihan stuff, right? So let's get back to the problem we got. Zenya Amo's still waiting for you guys at the battle arena. He warned us that if we didn't face him there, he'd attack the innocent people of Akiba indiscriminately. The Synthesters are already attacking people indiscriminately, though. What kind of a threat is that? I think what he means is there'll be more attacks if you guys don't hurry over to the damned arena. Amo raised his own power during our last battle. He's not going to make this easy. Wow! That sounds so cool! Hey, listen. You got this guy cornered and, uh... Dogs bite when you corner them. Times like this, ain't no such thing as being too careful. Amo could call us out at any moment. We should go. I want to go too, sis. No, you're staying here. But why? Come on, to the battle arena. So, you didn't back down after all. You deserve a slow clap for that. What brought you here, then? Resignation to your fate, or delusional confidence? You Synthesters are a blight on this town. No one has the right to steal these people's livelihoods. <laughs> what livelihoods? These people only squander their precious mortal time. You see, contrary to popular belief, all men are not created equal. Rather, every man has his worth. And otaku are no exception. All they do is consume that which they're given. They make no contribution to society. They pursue no real goal. They're jacks of no trade and masters of nothing. It's the natural order of things to drain such cowards dry. Fitting, is it not, that their energy should provide the nourishment we seek. In the Great Master's plan, each rung in the ladder of society will receive exactly what it deserves. We can shake ourselves free of all the irresolute, spiritless nobodies in this accursed existence. Allow me to spell it out for you in words you can understand, then. You pathetic otaku aren't needed. I can see you're not about to listen to reason. Which leaves me no choice but to separate your souls from your broken bodies.
Lost. It's over. I'm not like the other otaku. I put everything, my life itself, on the line. I was going to make this a haven of chosen otaku. Only the finest specimens. Damn it! Was I wrong? Was I not defending this town's righteousness? If not, then everything I've done is... No! No! You're no longer a synthester. And until your wounds heal naturally, You'd do well to stay away from this town you love so much. But once you've reverted into an ordinary otaku, I look forward to meeting you again on the streets of Akihabara. Uh, I... I... Uh, 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 how could I... I don't know how we did it, but we won. And I'm very glad you're all right. <sighs> Show yourself. You cannot hide from me. So, you've proven yourself superior to Zenya. Such a contradiction is man. He will fight against an injustice for generations, but as soon as he gains the faintest gleam of power, his conviction begins to falter. Such was the fate of Zenya. He flew too close to the sun, lured by his own predominance, until his wings simply burned away. We've all seen his kind before. A man who shows remarkable talent until his first taste of loss. Then, after a single setback, he loses all faith in himself. His invincible self-image cracks and crumbles. <sighs> if only he would have evaluated his failings, learned from them, and grown. Instead, he invested the whole of his being into a drug he knew so little about. Such a pity. I had plans for him. I had hoped he'd be of use for longer. But I can only fault myself for that miscalculation. So you're the one behind all this. I've been looking for you. For quite a while. Shizuku. After Ren left, I never imagined you too would abandon the Night Eater village. We agreed to let no harm befall the humans. When one of us breaks that pact, the rest of us have a duty to set things right. Soga, do you honestly comprehend what it is you're doing? Of course, and I have taken every precaution, I assure you. Fate has already chosen whose lives will continue and whose will not. What gives you the right? Arguing is pointless. 
the truth of the matter came to me long ago. And so, I can offer you two choices. Either leave this town, or sit by and watch as the inevitable comes to pass. You are free to choose whichever best suits you. But know that if you insist on becoming obstacles again, I will not hesitate to crush you. His name is Soga Kagutsuki. He's from the same Night Eater clan as myself and Rin. And he looks to be the mastermind behind this whole operation. I had a feeling he might be. I just hoped I was wrong. 